My bill will require companies doing business with Montgomery County to provide benefits to same-sex domestic partners, but only if they already provide benefits to married couples. According to Equality Maryland, benefit packages can make up nearly 40% of an employee's compensation. But right now, committed same-sex couples doing work on county contracts are not entitled to any spousal benefits. As a result, my bill simply requires equal pay for equal work. I'm proud to announce that prior to introducing my bill, I have secured the support of seven of my colleagues, Council Members Irvin, Trackenberg, Florine, Leventhal, Elrich, Berliner, and Andrews, as well as the County Executive. It is a pleasure for me to now introduce some of the fine people behind me. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, introduce Equality Maryland's Executive Director, Morgan Meneses Sheets, who will give us uh, some remarks, and then we will hear from my colleagues. Thank you. <coughs> well, thank you, Council Member Navarro. It's great to stand with you today. On behalf of Equality Maryland, I want to also acknowledge some key friends and supporters joining us. Uh, I want to thank Council Member President Phil Andrews, Vice President Roger Berliner, and Council Members Valerie Irvin, Nancy Florine, and Dutchie Trachtenberg. Though they could not be here with us at this moment, I would also like to thank County Executive Ike Leggett, one of Equality Maryland's strongest allies, and also George Leventhal and Mark Erlrich. This is a wonderful moment. You know, leaders in our community have continually advanced pro-equality policies. I also want to acknowledge Dr. Dana Beyer, who stands here as Quality Maryland's board vice president. Uh, to our members and supporters joining us, holding the signs up front and behind me, thank you all for being here today. As Council Member Navarro said, this bill simply reaffirms basic fairness and equality under the law. Montgomery County has had a long-standing tradition of valuing all members and all families <coughs> of our diverse community. In the 80s and 90s, the County Council moved forward with passing comprehensive anti-discrimination legislation protecting the lesbian and gay community from prejudice in the workplace, at home, and in society. Just a few short years ago, this council unanimously moved forward with passing anti-discrimination legislation to protect members of the transgender community. We all know the challenge that our opposition mounted, subscribing to hurtful rhetoric and faceless attacks. The same kind of attacks we saw this past year when we came extremely close to passing similar legislation in Annapolis. But this council stood together in support of basic equality and fairness for all members of our community. And that is exactly what this council and our county executive are doing today. By extending the requirement for equal same-sex benefits to the domestic partners of employees and contractors doing business with the Montgomery County government, the council not only ensures that more members of society and of this community have access to quality health care, but also sends a strong message to our leaders in Annapolis that this county is ready for full marriage equality. I thank you. Thank you. Now we will uh, hear from Council Member Valerie Irvin. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm very proud and excited to be here to support this uh, landmark legislation for Montgomery County. Again, Montgomery County is going to take the lead for doing the right thing so that the rest of the state can follow suit. And uh, so we're used to always being on the cutting edge here, but I really want to say a, a hearty, heartfelt congratulations to Council Member Nancy Navarro for her courage uh, in moving forth this legislation. Last night I was watching a movie on, on HBO uh, called The Debaters, and I know a lot of people have probably seen this film, and it just reminded me that we haven't uh, come that far from the Jim Crow South days when we had to fight for civil rights legislation for people of color in this country. There are so many people that I think 
uh, what we're doing here will t 